On this week's Waypoint, NAR buffs already, victorious Morgana, I think, DDoS attacks, and client updates. What's up guys, and welcome to Waypoint, your weekly League of Legends recap for August 27th, 2014. I'm your host, Lindsay Geektron. NAR is the latest and cutest champion to hit the rift, but so far, most players haven't had a ton of success with him. He only came out a few weeks ago, but there are already buffs on the PBE, and Gypsy Lord has been talking about the direction that Riot is going to go in. In Riot's eyes, there are two main problems. The first one is kind of a big one. He's just not a very reliable champion to play or have on your team. It's not that his transform is unpredictable, that's intentional and part of his design. It's that, no matter what his form, he doesn't always do what you need him to. Many Nar can't consistently hit his boomerang, and you've probably noticed he's a bit squishy. Mega Nar, on the other hand, is just so slow with telegraphed abilities, it's hard for him to be effective against players who are paying attention. The second problem is how hard his laning phase is. His base stats and early damage are low, while his cooldowns are high. He doesn't really snowball off an early lead, and it's very easy for him to fall behind and into irrelevance. That said, although Nar's win rate started at an abysmal 39%, it's closer to 45% now and rising. But a lot of these issues could just be early growing pains with people not knowing how to build or play him yet. Riot are keeping that in mind with these buffs and are trying not to go too crazy. A buff to his HP per 5 regen will obviously help with his early game sustain and make mistakes less devastating. For his passive, on live it can take a whole .25 seconds to get your bonus health when transforming into Meganar. In this game we all know that's enough time to take a chunk of damage and die, so that's being made instant. Really more of a bug fix, but it'll definitely help him out. Nar's boomerang is a pain to catch and hit right now, and that's where most of the buffs are being focused. It'll track Nar's movement better, be slightly wider, and more visually clear. The more often Nar can catch his boomerang, the more often he can throw it, deal damage, and control his rage. Good changes all around. Boomerang, along with Mega Nar's boulder, will also be easier to hit thanks to an increase in speed and width. Boulder will be far more effective now as well. Even if it misses the champion, it'll still deal damage and slow in an AoE around its landing zone. Mega Nar will be able to pick up his boulder just after 0.3 seconds, and it'll no longer miss a champion if the champion is dashed right to the center of your champion model. You'll just smash them in the face with a giant boulder. Who doesn't want that? Overall, in both forms, Nar should have a consistently strong Q now, which is really important for any champion. For Nar's W, no changes except for a very nice bug fix. Champions won't be able to quickly get off a spell like Flash or Zhonya's if they're in the middle of Nar's powerful CC combo. A similar fix was applied to Nar's ultimate knockback, and even if you don't hit them into a wall, it'll still stun for slightly longer than it does now, and that's the worst case scenario. Mega Nar will also be able to start moving slightly faster after using an ultimate, although he'll still be rooted for 0.4 seconds, which kinda does suck a little bit. And for some reason, his ultimate now has a 0.5 AP ratio, Everyone raise your Lich Banes. Finally, Nar's recommended items are being updated to push him into more of a tanky direction, as that seems to be the place where players are finding the most success with him. Overall, a lot of good buffs and bug fixes that look like buffs. His win rate has been steadily rising, and he's a weird champion to play with a very unique kit. I don't think he's another Vel'Koz, but I wouldn't be too surprised if these changes actually push Nar in the opposite direction. But that said, as long as he's not too OP for the World Championships, I really like these changes. The 2014 season is set to end in November, and the end of season rewards have been announced. We've got all of the usual stuff depending on whether you finished in Bronze, Silver, or Gold Plus, Summoner Icons, Loading Screen Borders, all that sort of thing. The one thing though that everyone seems to care about, and everyone will be sanely jealous if they don't get it, is of course the Special Champion skin. It hasn't been officially announced yet, but we do have this teaser image. I'm not going to put my entire life savings on it, but I kind of think it looks like Morgana. Or maybe Evelyn. Or maybe Elise. I don't know. Morgana would actually make a lot of sense as a victorious champion skin this year. She's been super dominant in the bot lane. She's been ever present throughout the entire season. The only negative to this whole thing is that Morgana already has a lot of skins, but if this one is just way better than the other ones, I don't really care. So this past week, League of Legends has been a bit harder to play than usual. Lag, disconnects, long login queues have all been major issues affecting the North American server. 
This was due to a large DDoS attack hitting multiple big gaming companies and not just Riot. Blizzard, Sony, and Microsoft were all hit as well, and overall, it's not been a great week for gaming online. And if you haven't heard the term before, DDoS stands for Distributed Denial of Service. And there's no need to be worried about stolen account information or any kind of hacks or anything like that. A DDoS attack is basically a ton of internets being thrown at a single server, which overwhelms it and then makes it hard and unstable to use if you are a regular user. That's the easy, non-technical explanation, but the point is, is that on our end, there's nothing really to worry about. It just sucks that this is happening, but it's not the end of the world. Froggen can tell you all about it. The client and Patcher are finally getting some long-awaited updates. It's been a long time in coming, but things are finally starting to change. Keep in mind, though, that this is just the first step in a long process while Riot do their best to avoid instability issues and breaking the game. In the short term, though, it's mostly just the look and feel of the client that's changing. And even so, I think you guys will agree that this is a massive improvement. I love the new look, though. There's just so much information being delivered with just a glance. But maybe I just like pictures, though? I'm easy to please. You know what's hard to do while playing League of Legends? Reading a book? No, seriously, I tried, and I fed like crazy. That's why I use Audible.com. Whether it's in the car, playing League of Legends, or just chilling in bed, Audible is the best way to get your audiobook fix. With great prices, tons of special promotions, and sales for members, Audible offer everything from The Hunger Games to Game of Thrones to Star Wars. There's honestly just about something for everyone at Audible.com. And the best part? Audible have a great listen guarantee, so if you don't like your choice, simply return it and try again. If you're interested, head on over to audible.com slash gamebreaker and start your free 30-day trial today. And just for signing up, you'll receive a free audiobook that's yours to keep. That's so nice. That URL again is audible.com slash gamebreaker. And that does it for this week's episode of Waypoint. For more video game news and content, head on over to gamebreaker.tv. Be sure to check back every week for the latest League of Legends news. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment below to help us reach more people. And if you want more League of Legends content recaps and updates, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Lol Nation TV. I'm Lindsay Geektron. You can follow me on Twitch at Lindsay Geektron. Thanks everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you guys at the next waypoint. Game Breaker TV.